when's it gonna be released? Who's doing this? Why is this happening? And they just kept saying the same thing. All we could tell you is your account is under review. And so I called the bank every single day for two weeks, multiple times every day for two weeks. And finally, after about, I think it must have been 15 or 16 days, she calls me back and she says, Mr. Fuentes, I have some good news for you. We have an update on your account. In order to get in touch with the people that have placed a legal order on your account, you can call these numbers. And she gives me three phone numbers for U.S. attorneys working for the Department of Justice. And so at that point, I know uh, this is an FBI investigation. At that point, I know this is the Department of Justice, which is placed to freeze on all my cash in my bank account. And the reason why this is so crushing is because the Department of Justice and the FBI are immovable because of the war on terror, because of the Patriot Act, because of how the federal government operates. They really can do whatever they want to whoever they want, and there's nothing you can do about it. And so I talked to my lawyer. I asked him, can I get my money back? Is there anything I could do? Do they have to release it? Which are the obvious questions that anyone would ask. And the response is basically, they can take your money, they don't need a reason, and they could keep it as long as they want and they don't have to give it back. And this is how the federal government works. A lot of people assume that because this is America and not Russia or China, that there must be something that can be done. You must be able to sue. You must be able to, to file something and, and pursue some kind of recourse. But sadly, that's not the case. If you find yourself the subject of an FBI investigation, if you find yourself a target of the federal government, there's really nothing more that you can do. It's as inevitable as death or gravity. The federal government is gonna do what it's going to do, and you're just along for the ride. All of that concentrated power that's been built up in Washington, D.C. is being rotated and turned inwardly. And the kind of shock and awe that we saw in 2003 or 2001, Patriot Act, Panopticon, Surveillance State, that's now being wielded by politicians, bureaucrats, connected, wealthy, elite people. And they can now wield that and utilize that against people with American citizenship. People that have done nothing wrong, are not criminals, are not a threat to society, but people that are merely an inconvenience or a problem to powerful people. And so at that point, that's the total end of a free society. That's the end of your rights, that's the end of your property, and it could be the end of your life. And so that was the first major instance of the federal government coming after me after January 6th.